next kita tengok definition of programming so programming ni sebenarnya asas dia you dah belajar dah waktu semester 1 right baru exam je ni baru ba baru baru lepas exam je last week Okay, so you dah tahu dah serba sedikit what is programming. So the definition of programming. What is programming? It's a series of instruction. Series of instruction. Satu set arahan. It's a set of instruction that directs a computer to perform a task. Siapa yang bagi, siapa yang bagi instruction ni? We as a programmer. Untuk uh, kepada komputer untuk buat task-task tertentu. Okay. Then, instruction ni must be written in a way computer can be understand. So, previously kita tahu kata computer just understand machine language which is consists of zero and one. So, other than that, kalau dia adalah assembly language ke high level language ke, it's need a translator to translate the whole language into the machine language. Yang penting, kita punya apa? Uh, arahan kita sampai kepada bahasa yang difahami oleh komputer isah, okay? Next, yang ni 1.1, step in problem solving. Kita dah cover dalam tutorial uh, part, right? So, we have five step. Kita ada problem analysis, come out dengan IPO analysis. Kita ada input, process, output. Basically, we start with output, okay? Setiap soalan selalunya dia suruh find apa, calculate apa, that will be our output. So input, input is a data that we needed to uh, to get the result. Output tu lah. So process is referred to any formula that relate to the uh, situation given. Okay next kita ada step tu. Design a solution yang banyak. Yang kita akan sentuh sikit dalam kita punya uh, lecture simulation. Okay design uh, algorithm. Kita ada sudoku or flowchart. Sudoku or flowchart and each of sudoku and flowchart ini kita ada control structure kita. Sekejap lagi kita nak pergi secara detail. And then step three implementation which is implement the algorithm by writing the coding. So kita nak write coding tu kita guna bahasa apa untuk matrikulasi? Guna bahasa Java. And then step four we have testing. So testing ni, testing ni sebenarnya dah berlaku dalam step dua lagi. Kita nak make sure uh, uh, kita punya algoritma kita betul, kita kena uh, come out dengan come out dengan apa tu? Um, kita kena uh, masukkan uh, data lah, sampel data untuk make sure uh, formula kita hasilkan adalah betul. Dan finally kita ada documentation. Okay. Next. Okay. Kita nak pergi cikgu. Kenapa cikgu ajar terbalik? 2.1 dulu baru 2.1 2.1c uh, dulu baru 2.1a ha? sebab kita nak cerita dulu purpose dia lepas tu baru kita nak pergi detail kepada sudukut dan juga full chart. So for our first hour uh, focus on lecture session. So kita nak buat apa? 2.0 ni design a solution. Kita nak tengok dulu 2.1c which is today I'm going to explain to all of you each control structure and their respective purposes. Okay. Dan baru kita go back to 2.1a. Sebab bila kita dah tahu dia punya purposes baru kita boleh design ataupun create our algorithm uh, dengan uh, betul lah. Okay. Next. Highlight of this lecture. Apa yang nak highlightkan? The first one is control structure uh, ada tiga kategori. Sequence, selection ataupun repetition. Repetition itu nama lain dia looping. Looping control structure. So based on each of the question, we have three types of control structure. Okay, three types of control structure. Sequence, selection and repetition. And number two, kita akan cuba design a solution which is nak design a solution ini kita guna algoritm. Dan algoritm itu terdiri daripada sudukut dan juga flowchart. Okay, so bila problem datang, kita nak solve problem tersebut, kita boleh gunakan sudukut flowchart. Design solution ni step berapa? Step kedua. Cikgu yang IPO tu itu step one. Problem analysis. Problem analysis kalau soalan minta buat problem analysis, you buatlah problem analysis. Problem analysis belajar kat mana cikgu? Belajar kat tutorial session. Dekat uh, kuliah belajar apa cikgu? Step tu. Tu pun secara surface sahaja. Design of solution. Which is we call as algorithm. Algorithm ada dua. Sudukut dan juga flowchart. Kan? Ada perbezaan kan? Sama uh, sudukut ini dia lebih kepada English statement kalau uh, kalau 
flowchart ini dia lebih kepada uh, logical representation dari segi diagram dan seterusnya. Okay. Next, kita nak tengok control structure. Bismillah. Control structure is a block of programming that analyzes analyze variables and chooses a direction in which to go based on the given parameter. So this is a uh, control, uh, control structure lah. So control structure ni uh, adalah a part of programming lah. Dan dia akan direct you. Sebenarnya uh, kita nak selesaikan macam mana? Perlu ada pengulangan ke? Ataupun ada pemilihan ke? Okay, itu adalah control structure. So it shows the logical order of a program instruction. Contoh, kita kata it start with start. Lepas start nak buat apa? Read. Lepas read, adakah dia calculate saja ke? Lepas tu dia print ke? Lepas tu dia kena buat hmm, ada pilihan ke? If ke? Stop. Ha, macam tu lah. Dia adalah logical order. Control structure I used to control which instruction to be executed next. Lepas read, calculate. Ataupun lepas read, uh, buat selection. Lepas read, buat repetition dan seterusnya. Okay. So that is control structure. So there are three types of control structure which is the first one is uh, tak nampak sangat ni tapi sequence control structure sequence control structure series of statement that execute one action after another in order maksud dia dia buat satu statement satu statement dan juga dia follow order tapi kalau selection control structure dia ada branch macam branch lah pokok-pokok which is used to de determine uh, which of two different statements to be executed depending on certain condition. Okay, contoh macam ni. Start. Okay, dia kata start kan. Read gender. Read gender kan. If gender adalah F, So print, katakan dia print lah. Print female. Else, print male. Tu maksud dia, uh, dia ada two different statement. Mungkin bukan two sahaja, mungkin ada lebih different statement. Three possible dan seterusnya. Dan dia akan depends on certain condition. Condition dia ni lah, inilah condition. Selepas perkataan if, ini we call as condition. Kalau sequence very simple. Sequence very simple. Katakan read, uh, start dulu start. Read radius. Terus calculate area. Apa formula area? Print area. Stop. Macam tu lah. Kalau selection dia lain sikit. Sebab kita ada condition. It de depends on certain condition. Tetapi repetition statement is used to repeat statement while certain conditions is met. So dia akan repeat statement tersebut sehingga condition kita ini uh, sampai dah uh, apa dia melaksanakan condition sehingga tamatlah. Itu maksud dia repetition. Okay. Uh, untuk control structure kita ada sequence, selection, repetition. Repetition ada counter control dan juga sentinel control. Okey ni control structure. Ada satu, ada dua, ada tiga. Dan untuk repetition pula ada dua lagi. Next kita pergi secara detail. Sequence. Instruction in sequence. Instruction in sequent programming are executed sequentially one by one. Follow root saja. Lepas next, calculate next, calculate next, calculate next. Okay, itu adalah sequent. The sequent structure direct the computer to process the instruction one after another in order listed in the program. Semua in order. Okay. Apa berpesia? 
Use when want to execute code line by line and then kita boleh perform an action or task and then perform the next in action in order. Satu action, seterusnya next action dan seterusnya sampai tamat. Okay, example of problem. Example of problem. So kita ada kat sini calculate area of circle based on radius and third. Dekat sini, soalan very clear. Calculate area of circle based on radius and third. So, kita nak cari apa? Area of circle. Nah, yang benda nak cari ni akan jadi output lah kan. Apa input dia? Radius and third. Radius and third. And third. Dia dah bagi tahu radius and third. So, yang ni adalah input. Very clear. So kat sini kita dah dapat dalam kepala kita kita tahu oh okay kita ada benda yang step biasa sahaja kita akan read apa dan seterusnya calculate apa print apa. Okay number tu. Calculate total amount to be paid by a customer. Seorang customer eh. By a customer. At minimarket that sell tomatoes. The price is RM3.50 uh, per kilo. So kita nak cari apa? Total amount to be paid. Ataupun kita tulis variable yang kita faham payment je. Ataupun total payment pun boleh. Input dia apa? Input, input dia adalah kilogram. Ataupun tomato kg boleh? Kg tomato boleh? Faham? Ha, input kita. Ha, contohlah. So nanti kita akan buat next, next, next seterusnya lah. Okay, ini contoh soalan. Kita nak 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 beritahu dekat you all, ini contoh soalan sequen. Dia kata apa? Seorang customer. Ini keyword-keyword dia lah. Ini area of circle. Dia tak bagi tahu pun 10 ke apa tak ada. Dia bagi tahu area of circle sahaja. Kita tahu satu je lah area of circle yang kita kena cari. Yang ni bayaran untuk seorang customer. Okay, kita tengok pula selection.